Ever since Google became a verb, everybody's got an opinion on it. You know, you used to use these other lousy search engines and it was hard to find things on the interwebs. And now, of course, Google is a dominant force of, in our lives because anytime you're looking for anything, on a phone, on a laptop, on a computer, so many people around the world use Google. And if you are a politician or a journalist or a business person or just about anybody who wants some visibility, you want to be up there in the Google search rankings because if you're way down, nobody ever finds you. It's like you don't exist. Uh, so with the rise of these tech companies, and we have this debate all the time about Facebook and Twitter, uh, Google now increasingly coming under criticism uh, for the way in which it engineers the, you know, what I call the secret algorithm sauce, where it ladles it on uh, to these searches. So the latest critic is President Trump. And this is a fascinating story. So he goes on the Twitter and he says the following. Google search results for Trump news shows only the viewing reporting of fake news media. In other words, they have it rigged, all caps, uh, for me and others, so that almost all stories and news is bad. Fake CNN is prominent. The president goes on to say that Republican slash conservative and fair media is shut out, illegal, question mark, he asks. 96% of results on Trump news are from national left-wing media, very dangerous. And he says this must be addressed. So there wasn't some study that uh, prompted uh, this uh, predecessor criticism. It was a writer at the conservative blog, PJ Media, and she did a little test. She searched a few times for Trump news, and she says, and she's a conservative, that 96% of what came up was what she defines as left-leaning media. Now, I did my own test, interestingly enough. My results were a little different. Uh, Trump news, first story was Fox, second story was CNN, third story was Washington Post reporting on Trump's attack on Google, and a few other iterations, which also had uh, Fox in them as well as CNN. Um, and so I didn't find it to be uh, quite so tilted, but regardless, um, if, you, if, you, if you look at the way that the president views the media, he said, he said to Fox's Ainsley Earhart, 80% of the media is fake news. So if 80% of the results that come up are what the president considers to be news organizations that don't like him, and you know, the most prominent ones, which he has enumerated, CNN, CBS, ABC, NBC, New York Times, Washington Post, well, of course he's gonna be unhappy with the Google searches, it just reflects what's out there. I mean, that's the thing, although Google does sort of tweak the formulas to include things like diversity and, and so forth. Basically, Google's trying to de deliver the information that you want, and that often means the most popular sites, stories, posts, videos, articles, are g g rise up to the top of the food chain. And CNN, for example, has a very high traffic website around the world. And so, of course, it's going to pop up a lot. Uh, I'm not saying Google is immune uh, from bias, particularly we, it's kind of shadowy as to how it does this. Uh, but I'm not sure the problem is as great as it is with Facebook and Twitter. Uh, and then the question is, even if you became convinced that uh, Google was being unfair, how would you deal with it? So the president's saying illegal, it seems to be hinting at government regulation. Okay, first of all, who's going to write the federal regulations that ensures perfectly objective, fair results and ideologically balanced results? How would you do that? And if the government was involved, wouldn't there be even more suspicion, depending on which administration was in power, uh, that politicians, as opposed to Google's California engineers, uh, were putting their thumb on the scale just a little bit? It, it, it may not be a completely solvable problem. Uh, interesting footnote to this story about the president versus Google. And Google, by the way, says it tries to keep ideology out of it. It just wants to deliver relevant results. Um, Facebook, which in my view has many more documented instances uh, of, of discriminating against people on the right, against conservatives. And Mark Zuckerberg knows he has a problem, which is why he uh, and others have been meeting with conservatives and trying to fix what he described, what he admits is a left-leaning culture. So there's a group of employees led by a senior engineer at Facebook who have started a Facebook group internally uh, calling for more diversity and saying in pretty blunt terms um, that it is a left-leaning culture there and that anybody who deviates that culture gets criticized sometimes through mobs. So this, it validates the criticism of outside people that Facebook uh, does have a big problem leading to the left when some of its own employees believe the same way. Now, this may be 100 or so people who join this group uh, out of more than 25,000 Facebook employees, uh, but it just goes to show you how, what an important role. I mean, none of this was a problem 10 years ago. We had other problems 
important role, Facebook, Twitter, Google, Instagram, Spotify, YouTube, uh, play in our lives now and how much people are going to cry foul about what they see as distorted or biased results, including the President of the United States.